I was walking up there getting so frustrated because I couldn't get close to the hairs. Now I'm on the edge to just lie down in the snow and start crying like a baby. I just had the best moment with a mountain hair ever. I'm now at the top of this mountain and um, trying to see if I can see any hairs up here, but uh, it's difficult to see anything when it's so uh, wide out here, but if I just find one hair, it's going to be so great. So uh, like today I've brought my Nikon D5 and the uh, 2 to 500 millimeter and uh, I have my uh, 1635 in the backpack together with some extra batteries and coffee and stuff. But uh, let's go and find some hairs. This is so frustrating because in front of me I have this low blowing snow and the sun, and the backlight, and I just saw a few hairs up there and it looks like, I don't know if you know that feeling that you see the image and it's some of the best you have got, but you just can't get the image because you're even like way too far away or in a bad position or like the camera because of the sun, the lens get hot and uh, the, the snow melts on the on the lens. So uh, then when you get it up, it's like, whew, this is just an example on like, how hard it can be to, uh, even though I feel quite routine in uh, these cold areas, I'm just not able to get the picture I see because uh, they are too far away and they are extremely shy. Now I'm on the edge to just lie down in the snow and start crying like a baby. So this is probably, yeah, it's very, very frustrating, but uh, I keep, want to keep going and see if I'm lucky to get close enough to uh, to the hairs and then yeah just see what happens but uh, I hope it's getting better let's hey have a look at this just imagine the hair sitting there and you just can't photograph them because you can't get close enough so it just got quite close to a mountain hair it's sitting about I reckon 30 meters from me. Difficult to see, and it's 12 millimeter. Try to get a tiny bit closer to the hair, but uh, don't want to scare it too much. And then I'll love to get around on the other side so I can get the backlight, but uh, we'll see. I think I'm about 15 meter from the little guy. And this is just, this is fantastic. It's uh, snowing, it's windy, it's, um, it's pretty cold now. And this little guy is just sitting over there and I've got some pretty good photos. I can't wait to show you. very close to the mountain here right now and uh, this is just awesome it's first time I'm photographing these amazing small mammals but it's definitely not the last
I've got some really nice photos. It's just sitting there sleeping in front of me. And um, yeah, I think it's quite used to people being in this area. Luckily, once again, it has been frost. So um, the, the snowflakes does not stick to the lens anymore. I just had the best moment with a mountain here. I just went up there. I couldn't bring this camera because it was just too intense. But I can show you the pictures. Now it's starting to snow pretty much and it's getting dark and I'm very cold. So it's uh, about time to get down from here. And uh, let me just show you around so you can see how beautiful everything is. Here's the equipment. Time to leave and uh, hopefully I get down before it's getting too dark. So see you down there at the bottom of this mountain. So finally I'm almost, almost down from the mountain and this was my first time with the Scottish mountain here but definitely not the last. I've got like some amazing experiences. I was walking up there getting so frustrated because I couldn't get close to the hares and uh, I was like 200 meters away and they were like running away. But then suddenly this little guy was sitting there and I could get so close and um, at a point I left that camera behind because I had to sneak in with, a, with an icon and I had to go th like on my stomach through the snow and I couldn't bring the, the Panasonic. So then suddenly I was sitting there photographing him and he just got closer and closer and closer and at the end he was less like he was less than two meters from me so uh, like I just wanted to share the moment so I took my phone and made some video that I can show you it that was like <laughs> experiences like that just just it's impossible to describe it's just like every one of you out there that loves nature just know how like how awesome and fantastic it is to get so close and just just feel like reconnected to nature it's awesome so yeah i'm on my way back down now it's still snowing it's getting dark and just before i end this video i want to say thank you a thousand times for all these nice comments and compliments and like when i made my first videos like not so many months ago i didn't I just didn't expect so many people to, to watch them. I didn't expect so many comments and questions and stuff like that. And I've, I just don't know what to say. It's, it's so nice. It's so kind of you guys to... to uh, it's, a, it's so encouraging. And I know I'm not the best, probably the worst, to talk about my equipment and the, the clothes and stuff like that, the techniques I use. But I will make a video um, from this trip what's in my bag, tell you like the decision I have to go through when I go on a trip like this with limited space, uh, what lenses do I bring, uh, the camera, um, like what extra equipment do I have in my bag uh, for a trip to the Scottish mountain uh, like this trip. So uh, yeah, so in this video if you have any questions about my equipment and stuff like that, leave it in the comment and I'll try to include it in the uh, video I'll make in a few days. So yeah, but now time to get back down and 
yeah, I can't wait to get to the right pocket of my bag because there is just one cup of warm coffee left. I'm going to drink that when I come down. So uh, yeah, see you.